That little constellation you see down underneath the numbers is actually a wave file header. Um, that whole thing you're looking at is just basically a giant stack of pancaked images, uh, sound samples. And I didn't bother to strip off the wave header within each. Um, so that's kind of the visual representation of the 36-ish bytes that uh, make up the header. If you look really closely at, at this one, that sort of in the dead center right there, see how it sort of jumps around and paints, uh, you, know, or, you know, sometimes it's pointing left, sometimes it's pointing right. That's the final byte of the header. That's where the header leaves off and the uh, subchunk of the wave file begins. And of course, I'll be stripping that out in the final product, but you get the idea. I'm managing to get the, uh, the image to sort of float around like that using an effect in socks called tremolo. Uh, all it does is sort of you know, just basically modulate the uh, the, uh, the volume of the audio sample and volume obviously translates into changes in voltage and changes in voltage translate into the size of the image. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of a neat discovery. I uh, sort of surprised myself when we tried it for the first time. But that's what we got right now. Slowly but surely we're getting it. Let me try turning it down a little bit, so... Yeah. It's a little closer to reality. Yeah, that's a little more representative of what it looks like in real life versus on the camera. Not bad for 48 kilohertz. <laughs>